Hello guys, Arkin here. I just want to take some time to tell you guys that we have a Patreon set up for the channel. It's an additional way you can support us. So I will put the link in the YouTube cards and in the description. Thanks for checking it out and I hope you enjoyed the video. What's with that? He calls you by your first name but I'm Mr. Deckard. I don't know. Maybe he likes me more. Oh? Wouldn't that be fun? What? You know, you and him. Sigi makes an O with one hand and pokes a finger in and out of it. Oh, come on. You're supposed to be my boyfriend, right? What? what You. You're my boyfriend, right? What? I just hear you say it out loud. Yes, of course I am your boyfriend. Before you know it, the big oaf picks you off the ground into a rib-crushing hug. <laughs> Siggy shouts aloud at the entrance to the store. This is my boyfriend! The last year flies by, and before you know it, your time at university is coming to an end. The whole time, you still reside in the dorm with Siggy and accompany him home on the weekends. Your daily routine is unchanged. You wake up next to your sexy dragon boyfriend. Sometimes he wakes up first and helps himself to your morning wood. Today, however, things feel different. It's the final stretch, your last semester at the university. There's still a lot of work you need to complete in the next two weeks. Your roommate and boyfriend is scheduled to graduate at the same time. However, his chances of succeeding are in jeopardy. Please, I need some help with the last question on the practice exam. Siggy, you keep stopping me every other question for help. I know. I'm sorry, but it's hard. That's the point. It's supposed to be hard. None of this is easy or else everyone would just have a degree. Devin, I didn't mean to upset you. <sighs> I know, I'm just trying to get my own work done. And every other minute, you keep interrupting me. Come on, I wouldn't have gotten this far without you. Siggy, I love you, but I can't keep helping you every step of the way. You have to be able to do this on your own. But I can't. Don't lie to me, I know you're capable of doing it. I've been the one helping you. I can see when things click, and you can get through an entire quiz on your own. But your grades are all over the place. You do well one month and bomb the next. The inconsistency is frustrating. Fine, don't worry about it. I'll just figure it out. Siggy? I think I'm going to go lay down. Okay. You're not able to focus on studying. Perhaps the extra rest will help. You flop into your bed and roll over facing away from Siggy. Eventually, you push aside your frustration and anxiety enough to doze off. You wake up and the room is dark. Looking over at your clock, you see it's 2 in the morning. You don't feel the normal dip in the bed where your muscular dragon boyfriend sleeps. As you reach over, your hands meet only an empty spot. You keep rolling over till you see your boyfriend still at his desk. Siggy's head is resting on his folded arms, and you can hear him snoring. He fell asleep some time ago. Siggy. You walk over to help your unconscious boyfriend back into bed. As you return to the desk to turn off the light, you spot Siggy is still on the last problem before you went to bed. You roll back into bed and try not to let the frustration build up. Eventually, you close your eyes and open them to see the morning light. Not feeling as if you slept at all, you get out of bed and start your day. Your classes start an hour before Siggy's, so waking up first is pretty normal. As you get dressed, you overhear Siggy mumbling in his sleep. Oh, fuck, Billy. Billy? Who the hell is Billy? 
You shake your head. There's no time to ponder it. You need to get to class. It is only a brisk walk from your dorm to your first class. You have a two-part exam for your final and today's the first. As the students from the last class exit, you slip by and take a seat near the front. You appear to be the first one inside. After a minute, more students start to fill the room. A tall shadow looms over your desk. Mr. Serve? Professor Hercules? What are you doing here? Professor Atkins asked me to administer the exam today. He broke his ankle playing badminton the other night. Ouch. Indeed. All right, it's the top of the hour. I will now hand out the first exam. You have an hour to complete it. Please take your time to read through each question. The muscular horse begins to pass out the exam booklet to all the students. You eye his bulge as he walks in front of you, sliding your test into your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, you have an exam and that is what you're focusing on. Great job. Time begins and you make quick work through the many pages of the booklet. You find yourself left with plenty of time to double check each of your answers. Satisfied with everything, you turn in the test. You sneak a few glances at Hercules on your way out. On to your next class and then a short lunch break before taking your final lab examination in organic chemistry. You manage to get through your day without thinking much about Siggy until you return to your dorm. You are surprised to find Siggy already there. Hey Siggy, I thought you had another class. Yeah, we only had a test and I bombed it, so I'm back early. You bombed it? How do you know if you didn't use all your time? Well, I did what you've suggested and looked through all the questions before starting the test. By the time I got to the last one, I knew I was going to fail. Are you saying this is my fault? No, I just know I would have got all the answers wrong. Well, of course you're going to get all the answers wrong if you didn't even try. You don't have to yell at me. Siggy. Siggy, I'm sorry I raised my voice. But what is wrong with you? It's like you just decided to give up when we're both at the finish line here. <sighs> Fine, it's no secret I don't like school. I complain about it all the time. At work, Billy told me about how I'm wasting my time. He could be training to be a fire chief like him instead. I started thinking what if I could be the youngest fire chief ever. That's who Billy is? Yeah, he's the new chief who just replaced the last one that retired at the start of this year. I can't believe you're listening to a guy like that. But he's a cool guy. So cool that you have dreams about him? What? what Push the matter or let it go. Oh no. I don't know. This is getting tense. <laughs> okay, I believe that in order to have a successful and healthy relationship, you have to be able to talk about uh, everything with your partner. But if emotions are high and tense, I don't think it's good to push the matter. So we have to calm down first, I think, before we discuss this. So let's let it go for now. Never mind. I'm getting worked up. Yeah, you are. I, I think I need to go for a bit. Go where? Before Siggy can finish the question, you're already out the door. What the hell is he thinking? You feel your anger rising again. I need to go take a walk. You leave the dorms and decide to walk around the small park next to the library. This is one of your favorite spots to have lunch outside when the weather is nice. Even the beauty and quiet of the park cannot soothe your troubled mind. I just don't know what to do about him. You're talking out loud to yourself. The weight of the past months is starting to get to you. Between your coursework, application for fellowships, and trying to find where you want to do your clinicals, you have little time to drag your boyfriend along. You end up asking yourself, 
Is this really going to work out with Siggy? You look to the heavens, exasperated and desperate for some answers to your conundrum. Only the endless blue horizon and a few clouds drifting lazily across the sunlight meets your gaze. Funny, that one cloud looks like a chicken. <laughs> you watch the clouds for a bit, picking out shapes as they overlap. Now they have lined up to form sharp angles, it looks like a phone. Hmm, maybe I should talk to someone. You pull out your mobile and open your recent contacts. Who do you want to call? The choices are Sigmund, Hercules, Dad, or Leopold. Huh. I am curious why Leopold is on the list, so he seems like an odd choice. <laughs> I kind of want to choose him, so let's see what happens if we call him. Ring, ring. Dreamer Island Resort, Leopold speaking. Hey, Mr. Frost, it's Devin. Oh, darling, just call me Leo. Are you planning on finally taking me up on my offer? No, actually, I really don't know why I'm calling. Darling, it doesn't take a detective to figure out something's wrong. It's a slow day here, so tell me about your troubles. It's Siggy. Oh dear, boyfriend problems. Well, you've come to the king of failed relationships. How can I help? I'm just frustrated. Not enough sex? What? No. I mean, yes, there's enough of that. Unlike how I like to finish a man, spit it out. Siggy looks like he's given up passing his last course to graduate. I'm worried that our life's goals are becoming incompatible. Is that it? Darling, that's an easy thing to fix. It is? You feel that thumping in your chest? You mean my heartbeat? Yes, but it's so much more. If you can understand it, it will point you in the direction that leads to happiness. So you're just telling me to follow my heart? Yes, darling, precisely. I'm sorry, but that wasn't really helpful. There's more to it. You cannot forget or ignore the fact that Siki has his own heart to follow. But that's such a stupid decision. Darling, is doing what you think will make you happy really stupid? No, I suppose not. Don't let your frustrations paint over the beautiful portrait you two have worked on so far. Thank you for your time, Leo. Darling, you are both young and beautiful. Enjoy to the fullest. Also, tell your dad to call some. Your finger is already tapping the end call button. Click. It's starting to get late. The sun has set and the air grows chilly. With all matters of thoughts dancing across your troubled mind, your legs go into autopilot and take you back to the dorms. You return to your room and find Siggy laying there on the edge of the bed, playing video games. Siggy is playing Endless Nights. He's fighting the hardest boss in the game. Poor Kotetsu keeps getting slain with a single hit, but Siggy keeps at it unbothered. This is a sight you've seen many times. One of your earliest memories, when you thought about how sexy the buff dragon looked in just his underwear. Now you see him in a mix of anger and frustration of how he can just lay there, throwing away his future. But is he happy about it? Isn't his happiness important to you? These feelings are eating away at your peace of mind. Uncertainty on top of all of your previous frustration is simply too much to bear. Oh, you're back. That's all you have to say? I don't want to get into another argument. Then we won't. Siggy. As you start, you hear Leopold's advice echo in your mind. You remember the point Leopold made. You know what your heart wants, but what of Siggy's? Siggy, where do you think you'll be in a few years? Hmm. I don't really know. You don't see us still together? What? No, of course we'd still be together. Oh my gosh, are you saying you want to break up? No. No, that's not what. Siggy. But, Devin, I. 
Tiggy. I'm not breaking up with you. You you're not? No, I'm just asking if you really see a future with us if you decided to stay at your fire station. I don't know. And I don't know either. What I do know is that if you flunk out now, you won't have an alternative to even consider. For the first time, you see what can only be described as a look of deep thought on Siggy's face. I, I need some time to think about that. Okay, I should probably study for my final tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Siggy nods and sits there on the corner of the bed, still thinking. You are slightly taken aback by his reaction, but also you need to focus on your study materials. A couple hours fly by and you let out a long yawn. As you stand to stretch, you see Siggy slumped over on the bed. It's late, so you turn off the lights and snuggle against your buff boyfriend. You fall asleep hoping things will turn out for the best. The next morning, you wake up to see Siggy already on his computer. <sighs> Good morning, sunshine. You're up early? Yes, I was emailing my professor to see if I'm able to reschedule the exam from yesterday. Oh? I needed to pass and they are only giving me an hour this afternoon to make up the exam. That's great! But I need to prepare. I know you can do this. I think I can, but I'll need your help. Oh, Siggy. Not with studying, but with a little stress relief. Oh, Siggy. Your dragon boyfriend moves closer to you and begins to kiss and nibble on your neck. Ugh. I've been thinking so much about what you said last night. You feel him drag his fangs across your fur sending shivers down your spine. Thinking not only about how to pass my finals, but also my future with my lovely and sexy boyfriend. Oh? And how I might have also been neglecting some of his other needs as well as my own. The dragon grabs a handful of your fuzzy deer rump. Eek! He growls into your ear and you feel yourself get weak in the knees. Siggy's newfound confidence seems to have also put him in a very horny mood. I think I should make things right. Starting with topping that perfect butt of yours. Damn, Siggy. He grabs your ash and pulls you tight against his muscular body. F fuck. That's exactly what I'm about to do to your ash. Siggy shoves you over the bed and pins you down. Okay, so we have this uh, CG of a split screen of Siggy topping Devin. So nice. Whatever has gotten into Siggy, you like it. A lot. Smack. Ah. Siggy slaps your ash with his hand before pulling your cheeks apart. The sneaky dragon's other hand is already covered in lube. He teases your ring with his slick-coated finger before gently wiggling it inside. Okay guys, so I think the next scenes and lines might be too sexual for me to fully narrate on youtube so you know what i will do i will skip ahead and provide some previews of the naughty schmexy scenes along the way and then after i will give a summary of what they did so see you in a bit okay and now the split screen has gone and we have this beautiful view of siki's body his buff body and devin also uh, laying on the bed okay so this cg shows the member the tool of siggy as it enters the insides of devin okay so this cg just shows motion lines along the length along the member of Siggy, so it shows that Siggy is thrusting harder into Devin. Okay, so this CG just shows uh, Siggy's t uh, tip, his length pushing into Devin, and it shows this uh, G-spot, I think this is his prostate, Devin's prostate, and there's some hearts there, <laughs> meaning he's hitting it and he's enjoying it. Wow. Okay, so Siggy has erupted. He has released his buff dragon cream inside Devin.
Okay, so this shows Siggy's tip. His jick is covered in his own cream inside Devin's insides. Okay, so quick summary of what they did. So Siggy was feeling horny and confident. So he asked Devin for some help with some stress relief. And so he was kissing Devin and then he pushed Devin on the bed. He went behind Devin and inserted a finger into Devin's uh, donut hole and inserted another one. And then eventually he inserted his own member into Devin and then he started thrusting and thrusting and Devin was enjoying it. He was moaning from the pleasure. After some time and after many thrusting and pumping, Siggy came inside Devin and Devin came on the bed sheets. And then Devin noticed the clock and noticed he was late for his final exam and he needed to prepare and this is the aftermath we will be reading now hmm you groan as siggy pulls his fat chicken out from her stretched hole ah uh, uh, i need to get dressed oh no it's leaking out there's so much damn i need a towel you rush to clean yourself up as siggy stares in panic okay i can make it just in time but I gotta leave now. Okay, good luck, babe. Thanks, you too. You kiss your boyfriend goodbye and dart off to your classroom. Unburdened by the recent events, you head into your next final feeling prepared. You can feel Siggy's load still trapped inside you. There is only a small panic as you stand up to turn in your final and you feel his load start to drip out from your gaped hole. Thankfully, you manage to make it back to your dorm before any wet spots show up. The rest of the day flies by and you find yourself back at the dorm. It's later than normal when Siggy finally returns. Hey, babe. Hey. What took you so long? I had to take the makeup exam and then another one right afterwards. I stayed and waited for her to grade my test. Oh, and... And I passed. Siggy, that's wonderful. Yep, I have one more test tomorrow, but I'll graduate on time. You know, if you failed, you could just take a summer course. I can't afford a summer course with what they pay me at the fire station. Well, then aren't you glad you passed this time? Hell yeah. Come here. Siggy grabs you by your hips and kisses you deeply. Oof. Damn, Siggy. Heh. <laughs> so now that's out of the way, we can plan for the future. It's not over yet. What do you mean? We have to go celebrate first, then we can figure out what's next after that, together. He slides his hand into yours. Of course, my parents want to come celebrate as well. Parents? You mean I'm going to meet your mom? Yeah, she's finally back in town and it's going to be another month till her next expedition. Oh wow, I wonder what she's like. Siggy once again drops into a moment of deep thought. You leave him be and prepare for your degree application and graduation preparations. In the coming weeks, you and Siggy both graduate. Your degrees are in the mail as you reconvene at the familiar house to celebrate. This is the house right here. Oh, they have a nice place. Is that him at the door? No, that's his dad, Sigmund. Hey, Devin. Who's this handsome gentleman? Hey there, I'm Harold. I'm Devin's father. Great to finally meet you. I thought your wife was also coming. Oh, she is, but she's running late because of a work thing. No worries, we haven't started cooking yet. Oh, Dad. I mean, you have a very lovely house. Thanks, I'm a contractor. I've made a lot of changes to the original house. It looks pretty new. The building is over 20 years old. 
That's amazing. Wait till you see the inside. Of course, I'll show you around. Devin. Hey, Siggy, meet my dad. Hi, I'm Harold. Nice to finally meet you, Mr. Surf. Please, just call me Harold. Of course, Harold. Well, you got yourself a handsome boyfriend. Dad. Come check out the rest of the house. Sure, you have a lovely kitchen. Thank you. The two dads head into the next room, leaving you alone with Siggy. Wow, your dad's a big guy. Well, so is yours. Ha, huh, you're right. But to be honest, he's totally hot. Siggy? What, you think my dad is hot? Okay, that's fair. Where's your mom? She's running late. Okay, well we won't start cooking until everyone gets here. Oh, can I help with anything? Dad said he'd handle everything, that today is our celebration. That's nice of him. Do you think it's a good idea to leave your dad alone with mine? We better go check on them. Wow, that's a big tub. Well, we're big guys, huh? Dad. Oh, what are you both doing here? I could ask you the same. I'm just showing your dad around, nothing else. Mm-hmm. Well, mom's about to be here. Yeah, let's get ready to greet her. Ding dong. The doorbell rings. Oh, that must be Cindy. Well, let's go. Siggy, greet our guest. I'm going to start cooking. I think he was cooking up a plan already. Oh, what are you cooking? Come on, let's get out of here. You follow Siggy to the front door. I'm really glad we're together. Same, I love you so much. I love you too, and now I finally get to meet your mom. I've never seen a doe before. Whoa, when did I ever say my mom is a doe? What? Your boyfriend opens the door and the sun is angled just right to strike you in the eyes. Ah, mom? Oh? Devin! Ending, Devin and Sigurd. Oh, well that's nice. Although it's kind of sad that I thought we were going to see Devin's mom, but I guess it's just left to our imagination on what she looks like. Okay, so that was Siggy's route in Deers and Deckards. So I loved it. I especially loved the minigame portion involving Kotetsu and the things that happen to him there <laughs> the unfortunate happenings that occur if you get killed by the bosses if kotetsu gets killed by the bosses <laughs> i really like those i liked sigi's route since it gave a chance to focus on what would happen between devin and sigi without the involvement of sigmund but of course, I was still heartbroken over, you know, rejecting our beloved daddy, Sigmund. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you want me to go with Sigmund's solo route, you can tell me in the comments. But I can't promise when I will do that right away since there might be other VNs I want to try and continue. And also, maybe my real-life stuff might get in the way, and I might not be able to record and edit much. So I apologize in advance for that. Anyway, if you guys liked what I did, I hope you can leave a thumbs up on this video, and maybe subscribe if you haven't yet. And I want you guys to take some time to appreciate something in your life today. And I will see you on the next Let's Read. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!
Before we end the video, I would like to give a massive thank you to our patrons. Your support means more than the world to us. It means the galaxy to us. Check out patreon.com slash 7 to be a patron today. Ciao!